Hey everyone, we're going to solve each equation and check our solutions using uh, properties of arithmetic and properties of equality. And we're going to do these uh, three problems in the video. They're all very similar, so once uh, you look at one, maybe you could try the other two on your own. So here's our first one. And the first thing you want to do is collect like terms. <coughs> in these uh, parentheses here, this quantity here. So when you do that, what we're going to do is add these x's, like terms. So 1x or ax, um, that's just a singular x, so that means 1x plus 4, 3x is 4x. And then I'm going to uh, copy down my negative 5 equals 14. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is use my distributive property of arithmetic and just multiply these two. So what it's going to be is 2 times 4x, then you copy down the negative here, minus, then you write your 2 times 5 equals 14. All right, so now let's simplify. 2 times 4x is 8x and 2 times 5 is 10. Now I'm going to use my um, addition property of equality and add 10 to both sides of the equation. And we get 8x equals 24. Then I'm going to use my division property of equality and divide both sides by 8. 8 divided by 8 is just uh, 1, and 24 divided by 8 is 3. So my solution set should be 3. Now to check your solutions, you're going to plug in the 3 into these two x's here and see if it equals 14. So I'm going to write 2. Now there's an x, so I'm going to put 3 minus 5 plus 3 times 3, I'm substituting the 3, and does that equal 14? So let's see. Uh, let's take care of this part here. Uh, 2, and we have um, 3, <coughs> um, let's do this, 3 plus 9 is 12 minus 5 is 7. Does that equal 14? 2 times 7 is 14, so you do get 14 equals 14. So 3 is our solution. Okay, the next one is very similar. So what we're going to do is um, collect like terms. We get 6x's minus 2x's is going to be 4 of those x's plus 8. And to go a little faster here, I'm going to mentally just draw arrows here and multiply. 5 times 4x's is 20x's, or 20x, and just in general 5 times 8 is 40. We have negative 10. <coughs> now I'm going to use my subtraction property and subtract there. So, we're going to get 20x equals negative 50. And then we're going to, uh, oh, Jesus. So, we're going to divide both sides by 20. And you get x equals, and these zeros are going to cancel out. So, you get negative 5 halves. So our solution should be negative 5 halves, or 2.5. Now, uh, let's check our solution. So we have 5 times 6. Let's go ahead and use this one just to save some space here. So we're going to go use this equation. 4 times negative 5 halves plus 8 equals, uh, does this equal negative 10? The first thing you want to do is you notice that 2 goes into um, to 4 two times. 
So then you just multiply 2 times negative 5. So you get 5 times negative 10 plus 8. Does that equal negative 10? So um, we're going to move it over here. We have 5 times negative 2 equals negative 10, or negative 10 equals negative 10. So it does check out. And for the last one, we're going to go ahead and collect like terms in here. So you're going to get negative 8 plus 6, that's negative 2, plus y equals 4. All right, and we're going to distribute with the distributive property. We get negative 8 plus 4y equals 4. And now we're going to add 8 to both sides. So we get 4, that's 0, so 4y equals 12. Divide, uh, use your division property of equality, so you get y equals 3. So 3 should be your solution. And we're going to check. Um, it's always best to check at the first one. So let's do that. We have negative 8 plus y. We're using our substitution property. Does that equal 4? So let's look at this. This is 9. So 9 minus 8 is 1. So this whole quantity here is 1. So we have 4 times 1. Does that equal 4? Yes, so we did it correctly. That's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.